number 16 then, the last question in the 2016 Advanced Higher Math says you go another first order differential equation just like last year. And liquid again. Oh, have a watery theme, do they? Still, what have we got? We've got this standard cooling equation. The rate of change of cooling is proportional to the difference in temperature. But there's lots of information here. Sometimes it can be handy just to try and get a picture of this because all of these numbers are going to be going in to find various constant. It's just telling you the temperature at various times. If you picture this, might help, might not. What it says is, when first placed in the fridge, it's tempered, make that the temperature. Its temperature was 25, whatever that was, we'll surely put it here when first placed in. At 12 noon, I don't know how much longer later that is. How much longer later? That's quite good. Its temperature was 9.8. That was 25. And 15 minutes later again, it was 6.5. Don't know why I put that there. So it's going down something like this. And let's just put those points back in again. So that's what we've got. So that's the time of st when it starts. I'm not sure when that is. But that's 12 and that's 12.15. Sometimes that helps. That's the time. It doesn't actually say what the time is. The temperature at time T. Because that can't be time of day. So is it the time, is it the number of hours that have passed, the number of minutes that have passed? Or will that become apparent as you progress through it. But it looks like we've got enough information. These three dots should be enough to pin that curve down. So that must be enough information to try and sort this out. Well, the first step would be, look, well, before that's not the first step because there's a bit of information going. The constant temperature in the fridge is four. Well, you don't need that then. That's definitely a four. And here's an initial condition. When first placed in the fridge, I wrote that down already, the temperature was 25. Well, that means if you go ahead and integrate this, dt over t minus 4 will be negative k dt. And then integrate both sides. That will give you a log, ln of, and there's no negatives going to appear in here. So t, ln of t minus 4 is going to be negative kt plus c. Now straight away you can find this constant if we've got the initial conditions. At time zero, what was the temperature? And that's what it says. When first placed in the fridge, so that's the start of the timer. ka -ching. I don't know when it was, except it was before noon. At the start of the timer, its temperature was 25. So we've got this. Ln of 25, we'll put it here. T naught, which is zero, the temperature is 25. 25 minus 4 is negative k times 0, don't know why I haven't wrote that in, plus c. So straight away, c is ln of 21. I don't actually need the brackets. Which means I've got this equation then. I've got ln of t minus 4 is negative kt plus ln, I'll just put 21, getting somewhere. So we could rearrange this to form the equation for the temperature instead of the time by doing various things like, first of all, I'll bring those logs over. If I bring that log over, I could do it in one line, but I'll just show the working. Minus ln 21 is negative kt. Then I'll join them together because the subtraction of the logs will put that 21 underneath is negative kt. Now t minus 4 over 21 can be e to the negative kt. Now it's looking more like a decay equation. So, can I just do this last bit because I'm running out of room. So I'm going to take the 21 across and add the 4, so don't get scared. So 4 plus 21e to the negative kt. That's the decay equation. So its final temperature will be 4, that's the temperature of the fridge, and it's falling down towards that. So that's asymptotic, well it's not asymptotic because it will get there, to 4. Now this is the only thing that matters, and that can all go. Well, this t is the temperature, and that t is the amount of time until these various points. And that's where you can use these two points now, because we need information to try and figure out what this initial time is, and what k is. But we've got these two bits of information we've not used. I've got them notated here anyway. At 12, the temperature was 9.8, and at 12.15, the temperature was 6.5. Now, the important thing is, it's like simultaneous equations. You can form two equations for this. I don't know how long it took. I'll just put this down here. I don't know how long 12 was after the start time, after ding. It wasn't actually a press button because they put it in the fridge. But it's like that. 
But if I just call that T, I can form these two equations. I know that its temperature was 9.8 at some time after the start. And its temperature was 6.5 at 15 minutes later than that. That would be T plus 15. So T must be in minutes in order, or else I won't be able to do this. Times T plus 15. There's a pair of simultaneous equations. Well, first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to divide them, obviously. I'm going to take those across. I'll write it this way. 21e to the negative kt, 21e to the negative kt plus 15. That would equal taking the 4 away, 5.8. That would take become taking the 4 away, 1.5. I'm going to call that 1, call that 2. Now I'm just going to divide them. 1 divided by 2. So the 21s will cancel, they'll divide out. In fact, I'm just going to leave it because I don't really want a big decimal. I might just leave them the way they are. I said, just bring them up to 50 over 15. The 21s will cancel, but when you divide variables, you subtract their components. Just get a quick check of that's negative kt, and from it, you're subtracting negative kt minus 15k. So altogether, that will come to plus 15k. So you just end up with this. e to the 15k equals that. Now we can find k. So 15k will be ln of 58 over 15. So finally k is going to be ln 58 over 15. That's barely illegible. That's terrible. All over 15. Now I'll press the buttons, but I'll just have to use whatever decimal this comes to. I'm going to press that button, I get 0 0.090159 and so on. Now I want to keep some accuracy, so I'm going to keep all these three significant figures. 0 0.0902. Now we're getting somewhere. Now we can get rid of all this, but I still need this information. But we can go back up to the top and fill in a bit of that. Right, let's put that all up there then and start to figure out what this time, when this start time was. This says 12 o'clock was some time after the start. So if I can find that time interval, I can go back from 12 and find it. So at 12 o'clock, the temperature was 9.8. Feeding it into this equation that we have now got the constant. And there's only one unknown. And that will be the time interval that transpired up to 12 o'clock. So we'll just solve this then. I'm just going to write it the other way around. e to the negative 0902t equals, I'm just going to rattle through it. So I'm taking away 4, so that's 5.8, and I'm dividing by 21. Then negative 0.0902t will be the logarithm of that, using the inverse, 5.8 over 21. And finally, t, ooh, ooh, we're getting close, is ln of 5.8 over 21 divided by negative 0 0.0902. Calculator. And this gives me 14.264, which I presume is minutes that elapsed up to 12 o'clock. Now, just as a check, I could check if that also works for this one rather than just saying, ah, well, the start time was 14 and a bit minutes before 12. I think I'll just confirm that with the other equation. That's this one here. So when it got to 6.5, I would have 6.5 would be 4 plus 21e e to the negative 0 0.0902t. So following the same route, 0.0902t, that should be taking that away 1.5 over 21 and then just doubling up the next two as well. So inverse and then divide. So ln of 1.5 over 21 divided by 0 0.0902. Hopefully, we'll come to 15 minutes after this. Oh no! Ha 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 ha. 29.257 and so on. Of course, you've got these approximation errors here, which is 15 minutes later. So we know that's right. So what do the questions say? At what time was the liquid placed in the fridge? Can we just say placed at? 
placed at 12 less 14 point, we'll call it 3 minutes, 1200, zero, zero. and that would be 11, now 14 minutes would be 46, just call it 46, because it's actually 45.7, 11.46 will do.